Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and today we're going to teach you how to set up an automated AS2 file transfer. Last time, we posted a quick start guide to setting up an AS2 server. The example in that post featured a manual method for sending EDI messages. But because EDI transactions are best carried out automatically, we thought it would be a good idea to show you how to use the same solution to implement automated AS2 file transfers. Since this is more like a continuation of the previous tutorial, I suggest you click the link in the upper right corner of the screen or in the description to watch the previous tutorial if you want to gather some context. Ready? Let's get this ball rolling. There are many ways to automate AS2 file transfers on Jscape MFT server. In this example, we're going to employ a directory monitor that captures file additions and a trigger that responds to the directory monitor file add event type. A directory monitor allows you to capture events on your local directories. For instance, a directory monitor can detect when a file is added, when a file is deleted, or when a file undergoes changes. The monitor we're about to create will be monitoring a directory for any new file additions. This can be useful in cases wherein, as part of a business process, an EDI document is placed into the monitor directory for transmission. As soon as our server detects that a file has been added into the monitor directory, it will automatically grab that file and forward it to the designated trading partner through an AS2 connection. It's now time to create the directory monitor in question. Go to the directory monitors menu and click the add button. Give the monitor a name, for example, DM for TP2 AS2. After that, click the browse button, navigate to the directory you want to monitor, and select it. After you do that, the directory field will then be populated with a path to that directory. Note that the monitor interval is set to 600 seconds. That means the monitor will check the monitor directory, well, every 600 seconds. You may of course adjust that value accordingly. Make sure the monitor file add checkbox is ticked and then click OK. The settings will allow this directory monitor to fire a directory monitor file added event once a newly added file is detected. If you want that directory monitor to activate on a preset schedule, say every 8.30 a.m. on the second day of each month, or every night at 9.30 p.m., you can also do that. Check out the links in the description or in the post later if you want to see how to implement those. But in the meantime, let's proceed. After clicking OK, you should then see your newly created directory monitor in the Directory Monitors tab. So we're now ready to create a trigger that would respond if a file is added to the monitor directory. Go to the Triggers menu and then click the Add button. Give the trigger a name, for example, Upload to TP2 AS2, and then select the Directory Monitor File Added Event Type. Click Next to proceed. In a production environment, it's possible to have several directory monitors that throw the directory monitor file added event type. So to make this trigger act only on an event thrown by the directory monitor we created earlier, you can specify that monitor in the trigger conditions box like so. Wherein, if you recall, that's the name we assigned to our directory monitor. Monitor name is just one of the many variables you can use in this context. To know which variables are available for a particular trigger, just click the Variables button found near the bottom left of the screen. Click Next to proceed. In the succeeding screen, click the Add button to add a new trigger action. 
This will tell Jscape MFT server what action this trigger should carry out in response to the directory monitor file added event. Because we wanted to forward the newly added EDI document file to an existing AS2 trading partner, select the trading partner file upload action from the drop down list and then click OK. When the trading partner file upload action parameters dialog appears, do the following. First, select the trading partner from the partner drop down list. In that case, it would be TP2AS2, which we defined in the previous video. And then, second, enter the file variable. Or you can click the add variable button and select file into the local file field. In this context, the file variable holds the complete path of the file that was added into the monitored directory. The variable supported by a particular trigger action depends on the trigger event used. To know which variables are supported, just click the Add Variable button. And third, just click OK. That's it. Now you know how to set up an automated AS2 file transfer using Jscape MFT server.